Morning Glory 10 23rds Monday 7 p.m. 8 ounces of Ipomoea tricolor seeds were obtained via an internet order. Per the supplier's literature, these are untreated heavenly blue variety Morning Glory seeds, approximately 900 seeds per ounce. One teaspoon of seeds was counted out at 123 seeds. The objective was to work with approximately 500 seeds, so four teaspoons of seeds were measured. The seeds were washed in cool water with a small amount of liquid dish soap. The wash water turned slightly black from the wash. The seeds were completely air-dried in 10 minutes. The four teaspoons of seeds were placed in the coffee mill and ground at the finest setting possible. This volume of whole seeds resulted in about ounce level of coarse powder. The powder was then further ground by hand with a mortar and pestle. The resultant consistency of the ground seeds was like cornmeal, mostly soft fine powder with a slightly coarse component. The powdered seed material was placed in a measuring cup along with 8 ounces of naphtha. The naphtha was obtained from Home Depot. This solution was stirred and agitated thoroughly for 30 minutes. The liquid portion turned an opaque grayish brown. The naphtha was then filtered off through a paper coffee filter and disposed. The remaining powder was placed on a clean plate and air dried in about 30 minutes. No trace of the naphtha smell remained after drying. The dried powder was then placed in a glass container and 3 ounces of 190 proof Everclear was added. The ethanol immediately turned the same opaque gray-brown color as the naphtha. After one hour, the powder had settled to the bottom of the jar, and the ethanol solution was clear again. The jar was sealed with saran wrap and the container was placed in the refrigerator at 41F and 60% humidity. 10.24 Tuesday 6 a.m. the jar was examined. The ethanol is still clear and there is a heavy sediment on the bottom of the jar. The jar was swirled to remix the solution and returned to the refrigerator. 6.30 p.m. the jar was examined. Same notations as 6 a.m. apply. 10.25 Wednesday 6 a.m. the jar was examined. No changes. Contents remixed and returned to the refrigerator 7 p.m. the jar was removed from the refrigerator. It uncovered and placed in front of a fan. The volume was reduced by one half by evaporation at 77F and 57% humidity in about an hour. The jar was recovered and placed at room temperature in a dark cupboard. The remaining liquid is clear when the contents are settled, but clouds up considerably to a very opaque gray-green when agitated. Heavy particles remain settled on the bottom of the jar when swirled. Most of the heavy sediment looks like coarse ground black pepper. I suspect that this material is part of the seed coating which is black in color. No odor other than the ethanol is noted, and taste test of the material was not unpleasant, but simply ethanol. Thursday 10-26, 8.15 a.m. The solution has set for 60 hours now. I have decided to strain the liquid through a paper coffee filter and mix the liquid with some orange juice and then drink it. From reports at the Arrowwood website of a similar extraction procedure, I expect a mild reaction within an hour. I feel mentally alert and clear-headed this morning. My back hurts, so I have stayed home from work. Other than that, I feel physically fine. I drank a few cups of coffee this morning, but I have eaten nothing since last night around 10 p.m. 8.25 a.m. The strained liquid was slightly gray-green and less than 50 milliliters, approximately 35 milliliters. I discarded all of the pulpy material remaining in the jar. Some black ground pepper-sized granules, but mostly gray-green particles made up the pulpy mass. The extracted solution tastes fine when mixed with about 250 milliliters of orange juice. It tastes like a screwdriver drink. I haven't had an alcoholic beverage in several months. I am aware that with mixture is 190 proof, so I expect some effects from the alcohol alone. I consumed the entire amount within a five-minute period. I have not taken any type of psychedelic drug since 1974. I fully remember my last experience on psilocybin mushrooms, which was quite nauseating and unpleasant. My two experiences with LSD were exhilarating and they are etched in my mind forever. Those truly hallucinogenic experiences will serve as a baseline for this morning glory trial. 8.35 a.m. I just walked to the kitchen to rinse out the measuring cup that I drank from. I feel, light, and slightly dizzy. Probably the booze effect from drinking the Everclear. No mental effects yet. I feel fine and I can still type. No pupillary response. I am wearing my glasses. 9.25 a.m. Watching TV. Felt slightly woozy and a little nauseous. Went to piss. Going to lay down and watch TV some more. 
7.35 p.m. I am going to recap the events since the 9.25 a.m. entry at this time from memory. 10 a.m. I lay back down on the pallet in from of the TV. I didn't feel drunk from the alcohol, but rather like I was ascending into a stupor. My vision was cloudy and I took off my glasses. I fell asleep somewhere around 11.35 a.m. and woke up an hour later. I got up to go piss again. At this time I was noticeably unsteady on my feet, and my vision was even worse than before the nap. I felt somewhat nauseous while standing in front of the toilet, but not a nausea that comes from the stomach, but rather from my whole body. I started sweating profusely when I got back to the pallet. I construed this at first to be from just waking up from under a blanket, but I wasn't sweaty when I woke up. I got sweaty from effort of walking to the bathroom and back. I was glad to be lying down again. I had a sense of taste in my mouth like a pesticide. It was like the smell and taste one gets when visiting a plant nursery. It was a mild flavor, and I began to think that the seeds did indeed have some residual chemical on them. 1 p.m. I still felt stuporous, but not nauseated anymore. My vision was still blurry. Much like my normal vision without my glasses, only worse, and the glasses didn't correct the blurriness. I checked my eyes in the mirror, and from what I could tell, they were bloodshot, and perhaps slightly dilated. I was a little more steady on my feet this time, but still a wobbly. Mentally, I was in control, without dreamy visions, weird, or psychedelic thoughts or visions. The blurry vision seemed to spatially distort things, but there were no colors dripping, running, traces, moving, or patterned images in my vision. There were also no auditory illusions, or other physical effects other than already noted. Nothing at all like I experienced with brown window pane. 2.30 p.m. I took another nap and woke up about 3.30 p.m. feeling less groggy. Groggy isn't exactly the right word, because I was mentally alert the whole time. It was a body groggy, not a mind groggy. I took a shit and felt stiff sitting on the toilet, but I think this stiffness was due to my backache and also from lying down all day long. 5.30 p.m. I felt a little hungry, so ate two toaster waffles and watched TV news. I am completely coherent, no grogginess or stuporous feeling. I felt tired, but no headache or other symptoms at all. 7.30 p.m. I talked to a friend on the phone and had no trouble conversing. I took a shower and sat on the couch like normal watching boring TV shows. 10.28 Saturday It is now 48 hours after I began the morning glory trial. I slept well Thursday night and I went to work on Friday. I felt totally normal, although I could swear I could still taste the pesticide. I might have been imagining it, though, because I was fairly concerned about it during the trial. Today I feel good, so I will critique the whole experiment. I am totally disappointed with the morning glory trial. I expected much more from it than I received. From the reports at Arrowhead, and also from reading articles by the esteemed Dr. Albert Hoffman, et al., I at least expected some sort of mild hallucinogenic experience. The extraction procedure must have been successful in that the effects of the final 35 milliliters of liquid extended well throughout the day, and much longer than any alcoholic effect of even 190 proof booze. Exactly which substances were extracted from the seeds remains in question. Even though the seeds in their original bag do not smell of pesticides, or fungicide, or some other preservative chemical, I have just now tasted one of the seeds raw out of the bag. It had no trace of chemical taste at all. Just a woody, pulpy plant matter taste. I cannot account for the chemical flavor in my mouth during the trial. To improve the extraction technique, I would reduce the seeds to a complete and total powder, or simply sieve enough fine powder from my grinding method to recover 1.5 ounces of fine powder, and then discard the large black particles. Next, I would wash the powder in the naphtha twice instead of once. I was concerned that the naphtha was fairly dark and cloudy from just one extraction. Certainly, a second wash with the naphtha would come out cleaner, indicating better removal of solutes. Lastly, I would use less Everclear in the final extraction to avoid the evaporation step. However, due to the volume of powder, not much less that one ounce of Everclear could be used. Perhaps substituting plain water might work. The ancients used water. Because of the unpleasant, chemical, aftertaste, the fuzzy and unclear vision, and the unsteadiness of motor control, not to mention the complete lack of even a hint of psychedelic effects, I cannot recommend morning glory seeds using this extraction method as a hallucinogen. My conclusion is totally at odds with my original expectations. I am disappointed. I wish I had some brown window pane.